All right, so today I'm going to show you what's going to be coming in version 0.3. I'm experimenting a little with multi-taps. So right now, if you have uh, a single um, tap, it will just do that original uh, multi-touch interaction thing. And yeah, so with single taps, it's still the same. But um, now there's also, uh, you can multi-tap to like do some other crazy stuff. Um, with this one I'm just doing a simple example of coloring it a little bit differently and also moving it. Notice also that while this has um, red to it, I can also um, what, uh, it will keep track of how many taps each finger has had. So I can still go and do one tap with this finger while this finger remains the same but with my middle finger it's just one tap and with my fourth finger I can do three taps and start making a vortex force while my middle finger and index finger still kept their original number of taps so every single finger keeps track of a different number of taps so right now um, yeah, so basically multi-touch, it also works pretty flawlessly. Different fingers can lift off and or go onto the screen and everything will work nicely. With the iPhone, the max number of touches is five. So uh, I, like, I can do like a rotational kind of thing or with and it can actually keep track of unlimited number of taps so if I go f for um, let me see one two three four um, wait. and I guess maybe it's not working right now but um, wait now it seems to be working yeah this is just a really weak force so like I guess I didn't really see it work um, yeah, so we still have all the accelerometer support. And also with version 2, we had some nice speed improvements for the 3GS. So I basically doubled the number of particles, and yet it runs a lot smoother than before.